Hi everybody, Daniel here again with All That Tech. Um, this is going to be a really, really, really off the cuff video with practically no editing. I'm just going to stitch it together. Um, I'm just making this mostly so I can try to hopefully post it with a forum post. But this is about the uh, Panasonic UB820 4K Blu-ray player. And if you're like me, you've probably ran into an issue where you were watching a movie and either you paused it, walked away, the player timed out on you after the oh, 10 or 15 minutes that it gives you um, and shut itself off. Or you've had to stop it and you know go do something else, come back later and watch it. But when you go back to play the, the movie, um, it starts from the very beginning, goes through any kind of warnings, previews, and all that, and you have to start the movie from the very beginning and skip to wherever you're going or use a scene selection, which can be really annoying, especially whenever you're using a premium Blu-ray player and cheaper ones work just fine and don't have that issue. Well, the good news is I've found a fix, so I'm going to show that to you right now. All right, so I got the player booted up just on the uh, menu screen. No disc in the player or anything like that. But I'm just going to show you what tipped me off to, to figure out what we needed to do to fix the problem. So if you're on the front screen here, you'll actually go to Setup. And down there, you'll notice it says BD Video Data Erase. So I decided to uh, just go ahead and select it. And then it says cannot detect USB device and gives you the rest of the message there. Let's check and make sure it's plugged in, all that stuff. So what does that mean? That means that the player does not have any onboard storage or at least not enough or anything dedicated to remember um, uh, pause points or anything in the movies you watch. So what do you do to fix that? Something as simple as this. This is just a little cheap flash drive I've had laying around. It doesn't have anything on it. I don't use it for anything. So all you have to do is plug in some kind of USB storage. Um, does it? Just a simple flash drive uh, will be plenty because the amount of data that it needs to, or space it needs to save uh, pause points in a movie or uh, is practically nothing. So, I'm just going to show you real quick. Okay, and just to show you where you could hook it up, um, this is not the ideal spot, but there is a uh, USB input there in the very front. There's also one in the back. Um, probably aren't going to be able to really... Let me turn the light on here. Uh, if you see... should be right here so you just plug it in right there flash drive hard drive whatever you want to use so and as you can see I have my cheap flash drive plugged in and ready to go and whenever you first plug in the USB um, flash drive or hard drive like I said the really only reason to use a hard drive is if you have additional things on there you want to watch other uh, videos movies pictures music that kind of thing um, it automatically pops us up if the player's on so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that but I have to go grab my controller and we will go ahead and pop in my 4k copy of the Revenant since that is one of the discs that I tested it with to start with I know I should have a pause point on it so I got it started up it's always going to go through the first little 20th Century Fox there, at least on this movie. There we go. Resume playback. Yes or no. That's it. So I just wanted to show everyone that's working. It should work with any disc. Um, I've done it with regular Blu-rays and 4K so far. But I'm sure DVDs and all that should support it too far as I know I might be wrong on that one but um, haven't tried no watch enough DVDs like that to be of any concern but definitely blu-rays and 4k ultra HD blu-rays so that's it just plug in the flash drive you have one laying around buy one for a couple bucks plug it in 
um, and you should be good to go.